Hi everyone, I'm Ella, a Lancaster University student content creator and today I'm going to be taking you on a day out to the Lake District. Lake District is in a gorgeous national park just to the northwest of Lancaster University. It's filled with mountains, lakes, amazing wildlife and so much more. Now I've been coming to the Lake District since I was a small child and its proximity to Lancaster University was quite the deciding factor for me. Since moving up to Lancaster, I've spent lots of time in the lakes, going on loads of different hikes. All the pictures right now are photos and videos I've taken on the hikes I've been doing. Hiking has been a massive mental health thing for me at university. It's such a nice break to get away from the campus and just go and explore nature. If nature is one of your biggest values, I would really consider Lancaster University. We have the Yorkshire Dales, Forest of Bowland, Lake District, and the Morecambe Bay Coast right on our doorstep. As I mentioned previously, all of these photos and videos were taken by me and it just clearly shows how beautiful the lakes are. Not only that, it also shows how fun hikes can be. It's not just all about treading through a muddy field, don't worry. So many different places in the Lake District, it can be a bit overwhelming of where to go first. So today I'm going to walk you through an amazing day out that you can take from Lancaster to the Lake District. It's also worth noting that if you plan on hiking, please be prepared and make sure you bring the right gear with you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the vlog. The first thing I did was get into my hiking gear and then we set off to the bus station. Now to get to the Lake District from Lancaster, you can either get the train or you can get the triple five bus from Lancaster bus station. In the summer, a special bus runs that goes down the M6, so it's a lot speedier. It took us about an hour and a half to get to Ambleside. My I add this was during the bus cap phase, so it was only two pounds to get there. On the drive to Ambleside, we passed Lake Windermere, Look how stunning it is, that it was very, very clear that day and you could see right into the mountains. Stop number one of the day was Waterhead Coffee Shop to grab some lunch before our hike. Here's a little fun fact. This is my boyfriend's favorite cafe in the Lake District. His family come here every year without fail. We grabbed a selection of sandwiches, coffees and scones and we got to eat our lunch right on the lakefront. After lunch, it was time to start our hike. I would very much recommend this route if you've never hiked in the Lake District before. The paths are well laid out, it's not too long and it's not too high. To do this route, just search up Waterhead to Wandsville Pike on OS Maps. The easier way to do this route is anti-clockwise, which is what our group did. Doing the route anti-clockwise also means you get these amazing views over Windermere whilst you're walking up. And don't worry, your legs will probably be hurting a little bit, but it'll be worth it when you get to the top. The route takes you through some woods, and make sure you keep checking your map so you don't take the wrong path. After a bit of a steep climb, you reach the top of the woods into an open field, with like a stone structure there, I don't know what it is. There are signs guiding you towards Wandsville, but please bring a map just in case. Due to all the recent rain we'd had, it was a bit boggy, so we had to dodge it a few times. But the view of Windermere was just getting better and better the higher we climbed. We also got quite warm as well, and before we knew it, we were all taking our coats off. Views on this hiking route are endless. Starfell Pike is the highest mountain in England, and you can just about see it right in the middle of these mountains. Definitely take a few breaks to stop and admire the view. There are a few of these ladders over walls on the hikes. I don't know the proper term for them, but there's a few of them, but they're very easy to cross. Just tread carefully on them and you'll be fine. When you reach this bit, you are nearly at the top. Just keep on pushing through. Then on the way up, we saw some parachuters, which looked absolutely incredible. After all of our hard work, we finally reached the top and look at that view. It was an amazing view all around us. We could see for miles. Spend as much time as you like at the top. And once you're finished, go down that gate and follow the path down into Ambleside. The path is quite steep at times, so do be careful about that, but there's lots of pretty things to look at on your way down. This is why we highly recommend you do the path anti-clockwise, as it is so steep and we were watching people struggle up this hill. After the path finishes, you will see this field on the right. Go over this ladder and you will be greeted with this amazing waterfall. Now this waterfall is called Stockgill Force and is a local landmark. Once you're done admiring the waterfall, you can walk out onto the road. This road will take you back down into Ambleside. You can also go down through the woods by Stockgill Force as well, but we chose the road as it was a bit quieter. Follow this road straight down and before you know it, you've arrived in Ambleside. Ambleside is a lovely little town filled with independent shops, cafes and restaurants. 
would really recommend stopping here and checking out the shops. There's loads of different shops, including this little jelly cat one. When you're in Ambleside, definitely check out Bridge House. It's a lovely little house built over the river. It's such an adorable building and I don't think anything else exists like it in the UK. My group were craving ice cream after our hike, so we went to go find some. We visited a really cute independent sweet shop and I got Thunder and Lightning ice cream, which is honeycomb, chocolate and caramel. I have such a sweet tooth and I couldn't resist picking up this chocolate. Once we were ready to leave, we hopped on the bus back to Lancaster. The views on the way back were incredible. Incredible, the views out of Lewindermere, some adorable Scottish Highland cows, and lots of nice hills to look at. That concludes my day out in the Lake District video. I hope you learned lots of information and you're maybe inspired to take the hike route that we took. It was such a beautiful day and I could not recommend Lancaster enough if you love beautiful scenery.